Aheya basham yashaya wa rurak. Shabbat shalom. Barakata kwam yashara. Blessings unto you. Welcome to Word War 3. Our reference will be Psalms chapter 90 verse 12. And this message will be entitled Birthdays versus False Narratives. Now the ancient Hebrew word for birthday is begot and in its original tongue is yalad which is the word lad comes from young lad and in its new testament form the greek form is genesia which is genesis or coming into being now the quick note one cannot be born again if they were never born in the first place. You cannot have a rebirth if you were never born. Remember that. How important is your birthday? You only get one born day, folks. All the other days are simply counted for time's sake. And before we get started, indigenous Hebrew Israelite awakening is not a religious hate group. We simply live here. Now, each day is a blessing from the God of the living. Each day is a blessing from the God of the living. One more time. Each day is a blessing from the God of the living. The psalmist tells us in chapter 90, verse 12, that we should be taught to number our days. We should be taught to number our days, folks. In fact, King David said in Psalms 118.24 that the stone which the builders refused the birth of our Messiah, our chief cornerstone. His birth was a blessing. Being born falls in the category of honoring your fathers, which is conception, and mothers, which is brought forth, or your, your day of birth. With every morning you wake up, they gave you your genesis, your life force. At this point, the ancestors, they wanted me to say that it's important to know the chronicles of the kings who had it. They were writing down the begotting, the begotment of their sons. Each king had a son. This person begot this person, that person begot that person and so forth, so on and so forth. In the books of Matthew and Luke in the New Testament, you see it again. Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob. Jacob begot, you know, his, the 12 tribes and so forth, all the way down to the Messiah. It's very important to know the word begot means birthday. It's important that we number our days. This is, this is what the Bible is saying. Um, and again, this Messiah is a prince of peace. He's not a prince of agitation. He's not a prince of hecklers. He's a prince of peace. And he's a prince of the power over the kings of the earth. You can see that in the book of Revelation, John the Revelator, in verse one, in chapter one, verse one. And this Messiah makes priest kings now the agitators those abrahamic faiths the christianities the mohammedans and some of you uh angry hebrew israelites out there these agitators will use sources like genesis 40 20 the pharaoh's birthday or matthew chapter 14 6 herod's birthday to spoil our minds, to spoil your minds, 
on religious philosophy. Both of these instances record the celebration of death or those rulers killing people. Whereas, you know, they're killing someone's life source. That's recorded. Whereas the most high power of the Hebrews is a living God. In the book of Ecclesiastes, the preacher, in chapter 11, verse 8, he says, quote, But if a man lives many years and rejoice in them all, one more time, quote, If a man lives many years and rejoice in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness, for they shall be many. Unquote. Now we are to rejoice in all days, not just the day counted as your born day, your birthday, but in all days, because we're not promised tomorrow. In fact, we're not promised tomorrow living in the land of Magor Mishabib. The land of Magor Mishabib, meaning surrounded by terror. If you don't favor the Genesis, the birth that your parents or your ancestors gave you, then ask the next police officer you see to have extreme fear of you and exterminate your existence. Because that's what this is about. This is about enjoying the life that you have and counting it and hoping that the promises that you get will extend life, your life source. Because anything else is religious philosophy telling you not to favor your life or not to favor the life that your ancestors gave you. And you can't honor your mother or your father if you don't honor your own life, the day of your birth and every day after it. Um, and again, peace and harmony comes by enjoying life. Especially when you know the God of life, the God of lip, the God of living. Because he made this earth specifically for us to live on. Life. Again, you know, let's read that verse. The Psalms chapter 90, verse 12 from King David, from a king. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. King David is calling you a fool. If you don't understand what your birthday is, your days, all days. Now, the final note of this segment comes from King Solomon in Psalms chapter one, verse one. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. And I know this is on the days of birth. But if you out there hoping upon and voting upon some people that are representing you, you don't even favor your own life. I am a conscientious objector. I am an administer of peace. I am also a Hebrew Israelite. Hebrew Israelite out.